Color Quickie. William Alexander was a German painter who created and hosted the PBS show The Magic of Oil Painting, where he showed audiences how to make an oil painting in half an hour, generally landscapes, using a wet-on-wet -wet oil painting technique. Each episode was shot live to tape and unedited. He became the first painter to win an Emmy. The show ended in 1982 after eight years. One of his students, Bob Ross, created a new show the next year, The Joy of Painting, using the same format and technique, and in the first episode, credited Bill Alexander for teaching him. The Joy of Painting became immensely popular, and that resulted in Ross's relationship with his old mentor being strained. Alexander told the New York Times, He betrayed me. I invented wet on wet. I trained him, and he is copying me. What bothers me is not just that he betrayed me, but that he thinks he can do it better. In reality, the style actually dates back to 15th century Flanders and was known as a la prima. Rembrandt, Manet, Homer, all sorts of painters throughout history have used the technique. It's a fit of jealousy and hubris that's a blemish on the life of an otherwise fantastic man. But even if Alexander had invented the style, you can't claim ownership of a style. All of art history is basically painters copying the style and even the paintings of other painters, and then doing something different with it. And notice Alexander didn't really say anything before Ross became such a huge success. He was just completely out of line with that, and I say that as one of the original Bill Alexander fans. And sadly, that attitude is really pervasive now with new AI techniques for making art. How many online artists have we heard screeching that AI is stealing the styles of other artists and costing them their jobs? To the point where they viciously attack artists that employ it and even try to ruin their livelihoods. They just don't understand what both Bob Ross and Bill Alexander taught us, even if Alexander forgot it for a moment. Making money from your art is not the important part. The important part is using your artistic expression to find joy and inner peace. And the moment you forget that is the moment you stop doing art.